Hello everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and today I would like to share with you one of my uh, weekly trading plans for this week. As usual we are going to cover a few different time frames and we are going to talk a little bit about uh, the possible entry points. Now uh, I just wanted to say that this uh, week's trading plan uh, which I share with you will be a short term trading plan so uh, trading will be focused mainly on the lower time frames uh, so the plan is suitable for mainly for uh, scalpers or uh, day traders but you can swing trade on it as well now uh, today what we are going to look at is the uh, great British pound Japanese yen currency pair and currently on the screens you see the H4 time frame uh, a few areas I have already marked uh, starting with this H4 resistance area here where the price currently is now uh, first of all I want to say that in the past uh, few days so from the 30th of October till today uh, we saw a huge surge into the price you can see how uh, strong this uptrend is and um, from the last H4 candle it seems that the buying pressure pressure is still pretty strong but um, I believe that uh, this will uh, this buying pressure will fade by the end of the week and we'll see uh, at least a correction so this uh, trading plan is focused on counter trending uh, of course we might see a totally new uh, trend develop from here uh, but uh, it's too early to say now this H4 resistance area marks this uh, top here which we saw let me uh, circle it can see that after this huge wave down here uh, we saw a correction that uh, ended here and a new downtrend wave uh, began and uh, this area was not reached up until now right here so I believe that uh, on the lower time frames like H1, M30, M15 uh, this area can act strongly and uh, reverse the trend especially on the lower time frames which would mean a short term uh, downtrend here now uh, I also marked two H4 support areas those will be our uh, two targets where we will look to close uh, part of our positions you can see the first one is uh, outlined because of this uh, stoppage the price made here after this uh, huge surge it just stopped for a very small correction and then continued up and you can see also in the past how this area acted both as a, a resistance or support so this will be our main target and uh, hopefully if we see a break of this area I expect for the price to reach this second H4 support area down here uh, you can see how again the price uh, reacted from that area before and even if we move further back this area was a pretty strong resistance area so I would expect it to be a pretty strong support as well uh, so this is it regarding the H4 uh, let me turn to the H1 and see uh, what is going on there now you can see that here we had a reaction of this H4 resistance area uh, we had a downtrend move of three candles which actually broke uh, some of the previous tops here and here but the price quickly retraced back up so far now uh, I just want to delete uh, what we drew here and show you something uh, very important for me now you can see this is basically uh, the last top the price made and it seems that here so far uh, we are seeing some uh, selling pressure uh, so unless this um, previous top here is broken I don't expect for the price to continue up and uh, actually I expect it to uh, further go down from here making a new bottom uh, of course 
uh, there is chance for this uh, level to this previous top or level uh, to be broken in uh, that case we'll probably see also a breakout of the h4 resistance area and for me this plan will not be valid so i won't look for trading opportunities on it nevertheless i have a few other plans which I will be following throughout the week so I'll try to share live signals based on them with you on our telegram channel join it now if you haven't now what uh, we'll be looking here for is uh, basically on the actually lower time frames it's better uh, the first thing is uh, basically this uh, small zone up here now I would expect this zone to act as a resistance zone inside of the H4 resistance zone so um, I would expect to see a drop from here to our uh, target one probably by the end of today or tomorrow uh, I'll be looking for possible entry spots uh, right here for example if I see an engulfing on the M30 or uh, sort of a consolidation here and then a move down a break of uh, the bottom of this consolidation uh, this is one of the spots uh, actually depending on uh, what type of sign you prefer you can go even lower like the M15 and uh, wait for uh, probably we'll have an entry on the next M15 candle uh, especially if it's red and uh, it engulfs this one since as you can see uh, here we had a move uh, we are having a sort of a dodgy form here or spinning top so a uh, bearish candle here would mean that uh, the price is probably ready to move down in the short term so it would be a good uh, point to enter of course you can after that if you miss uh, entry here you can wait for uh, this wave to be finished somewhere at the H4 support and our first target then to look for a possible uh, correction and then a new move down breaking uh, this uh, H4 support and uh, reaching the second one uh, I would consider the uh, last Let me just uh, draw with something else I would consider this last bottom right here as the turning point so here if we see a downtrend wave uh, which uh, breaks this bottom and we see a correction starting from this H4 support I would expect for it to end on this bottom and then for the price to continue further down at least again back to here uh, to this H4 support if it is a very strong support or uh, hopefully further down to our target two. So this will be another spot to look for entries. Of course, uh, you can, if this move uh, down starts, you can look for entries through the whole move. Uh, I would advise you to look on the lower time frames and uh, avoid uh, keeping the trade open uh, for too long. That way, you protect your investment, you protect your capital, and at the same time you slowly uh, gather profits so that is it on this trading plan uh, I hope you liked it uh, I hope you uh, follow it and I mainly hope and I'm quite sure we'll do some good profits on it so join our telegram as I said if you don't want to miss on our live signals and our team wishes you a profitable week